Across Louisville, dozens of organizations are handing out free hot meals to those in the community who may have gone without this Thanksgiving. As you can see beside me, hundreds of people are already at Southeast Christian Church getting their hot meal and canned goods to take home. Plate after plate after plate, each one loaded with a traditional Thanksgiving meal and each one providing a new meaning of community and family to everyone in attendance. Our church isn't just a place for people to come on Sundays, but that we get opportunities like this uh, to open up the doors uh, for our neighbors. At Southeast Christian Church in the Wilder Park neighborhood, many volunteers have made this day into a Thanksgiving tradition. Those like Mary and Joe Douthit say it's not the food they're serving that's kept them coming back for 20 years, but the people they're surrounded by. It's good to serve on Thanksgiving and you get to sit and talk to people that are alone on Thanksgiving and you hear their stories and it's such a of honor just to be able to help somebody not be alone. Which is what Lachey Calvin says inspired her to host her first community Friendsgiving. She's the owner of Auntie Soul Food and Sweets. Someone else always needs something, so be that person. It's absolutely free, whether it's a hug, a, a coat, a jacket. Someone always needs something, and most of the time it's free to give that away. Not only giving away hot meals to those in need, but also free hygiene products in the Russell neighborhood. When you don't have anywhere to go, shelters are full, it's getting kind of cold. I believe people probably still want to brush their teeth and kind of put on a little deodorant and at least attempt to try to do the right thing every day. In downtown, Nina Mosley, the chief operating officer for Wayside Christian Mission, helped host both breakfast and lunch for those in the community. The whole idea is to make it a good time for our homeless guests to give them some normalcy, especially the kiddos. But we have a lot of homeless people that are alone in this world and we like the community to come out so they know that there are people who care for them. And although each organization provided food in different neighborhoods, they all had one thing in common, spreading hope and joy this holiday season. Food is food. It's not who, what food you have, it's who you get to share it with. Megan Matthews, WLKY News.